and outside politics. Sunday with Laura Koonsberg, tomorrow at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. Live from Washington, this is BBC News, a special look at workers, labour unions and strikes. <laughs> 13,000 US auto workers walked off the job on Friday to demand better working conditions. The automakers have made counter offers and say they have to consider the long term viability of their companies. The strike harkens back to decades of conflict between workers and management in a nation where the car is king. Hello, I'm Katrina Perry. You're very welcome to this BBC News special focusing on the American labour movement, how it's changing and specifically the current strike by thousands of US auto workers. Their walkout is steeped in economic history and present day frustrations. It's part of a long running battle between titans of industry and those on factory floors. For the next half hour, we're going to look at what's happening at these three plants owned by the big three, General Motors, Ford and Stellantis and what it means for American workers and the economy. The union at the centre of the dispute, the UAW, represents 146,000 auto workers who could all walk out off the job over time. Currently, 13,000 are on strike. And this strike is, of course, just one of many industrial actions that we've seen in the US this year and further afield. Here's a tiny snapshot of just some of them. In January of this year, teachers in Lebanon went on strike over working conditions and pay. In February, it was Palestinian teachers who walked off the job. March saw a public transit strike in Germany after German unions staged a one-day strike calling for better salaries. In April, flights were disrupted in Nigeria as workers protested paying conditions. Some 3,000 teachers and school staff in Oakland, California went on strike in May. June saw a highly contentious strike by Starbucks workers over a ban on displaying LGBT decor. July was the members of SAG-AFTRA joining the Writers Guild strike which has crippled Hollywood and well beyond and still continues. And last month, nurses and hospital workers at Robert Wood Johnson University in New Jersey walked off the job over staffing levels and other issues. But for now, let's turn our attention to that US auto strike and hear from our correspondent, Michelle Fleury, who's in Detroit. The latest